Hello my lovelies! It is time for a massive Owl Crate Jr. unboxing, so stay tuned! As you can see here, I have eight Owl Crate Jr. boxes that I need to unbox for you. And uh, yeah, they have been piling up for a while. Eight months actually. <laughs> and uh, I need to open them. Because I want to see what books are inside and all the goodies. So uh, let me find something to open this up and we will get started. Uh, I think I may also move these out of the way as well. Okay, I got a knife. I'm ready to get started. So these are in no particular order. Uh, they've been moved around quite a few times. So I don't know which box is which until we get into it. Let's set that back there. If you don't know, Alcrate Jr. is a middle grade book subscription box. You get a book, you get goodies. I will link all the information down in the description if you'd like to check it out for yourself. But this video will definitely give you a good idea if this is a box you're interested in or not. Okay, so opening this one up, looks like so. This is the December 2021 box and the theme was Secret Cities. Okay, so the first thing we have in here, it says, uh, it's an Emerald City lunch tote and it's an Owl Crate Junior exclusive. So it's all wrapped up like this. And buttons. Okay, I freaking love this. <laughs> it's got the Emerald City on it. It's insulated. It Velcros all the way across. And there's also a button here that you can button that thing that wraps it up with but yeah this is cool I'll actually use this <laughs> I think that is awesome okay what else do we have in here oh we have a scarf it says Narnia how cool this is a nice thick scarf too so it's got Aslan on it we got the little light post. This is super cute. I will, I'll use this myself. I think it's adorable. Some of this stuff, uh, I keep, some of it Xander keeps. Uh, if it's too young for either of us, then I tend to pass it down to like my niece and nephews. Okay, next we have something in a box here. Yeah, Xander used to do these unboxings with me, but he, he doesn't, he's not interested in doing them now, <laughs> at the moment anyway. Okay, we got some kind of necklace. Hold on, let me see what it says. Okay, so this says, this enamel pendant was inspired by the protective runestone Abby's mom gave her in The Last Shadow Warrior. And this was designed by that lovely deer shop. This is something that I think Xander will actually use. He likes all these like necklaces and stuff that come in here. All right, then we've got this box here. It says, Rivendell Puzzle. Hike the Misty Mountains to the edge of the Bruin River, and you may be lucky enough to discover the secret elven land off Rivendell, a beautiful haven of peace and learning. This Lord of the Rings inspired puzzle was designed by Sam Dawson. Cute puzzle. Uh, I don't know if Xander would use this or not. Uh, I probably won't. So if he doesn't, then I'll pass it on down. Then we have a bookmark. It says, pay close attention to everything. Notice what no one else notices. Then you'll know what no one else does. And that's always useful. Jeanne Duprow, the city of Ember. And it's the same on both sides. It looks like this. And then we have the book. And it's in plastic, so let me take it out of the plastic. Okay, so it came with this sticker here. And then the book is Escape from Atlantis by Kate O'Hearn. And this looks really cool. 
and let's see. Ooh, there is artwork under the dust jacket. That's really pretty. And then the book itself has foil on it, and that is also so pretty. And the letter from the author is actually a page in the book, and it's also signed as well. So let's read this letter from the author. Hey you, yes you, my favorite Owl Crate reader. Have you ever stopped and just watched a sunset? How the sky starts to lose its blue and the white clouds turn pink and then crimson and even purple? I love to watch the setting sun. Of course, the logical side of my mind knows that our sundown is simply the sunrise in another part of the world. But the whimsical side of my mind takes over and I imagine the wonders that lay beyond the sunset. That's where my stories come from. Just me dreaming of all the places hidden behind the setting sun. Atlantis is there. If you look, you might just find it. So next time you're out and the sun is going down, stop and admire the beauty of it all. Then set your imagination free and dream of all the places you can visit behind it. But if you can't wait for sunset, then pick up a book and enter a world the winter has imagined the writer has imagined exists behind the sunset. I'll look for you there. Okay, so I don't really know anything about this book, so let's read what this says. The last way that Riley wanted to spend spring break was studying whales on the family sailboat in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle. With only her dad, aunt, and annoying cousin Alfie for company, she is so bored staring at the waves that she's starting to see mermaids between them. But when their boat is capsized during a sudden storm, Riley finds more excitement than she bargained for as she and Al Alfie are washed ashore with neither of their parents in sight. Where they've been shipwrecked is no deserted island, though. Atlantis is a place beyond imagination, inhabited by both people and incredible creatures ranging from unicorns and gargoyles to talking animals. But not everyone welcomes the cousin's arrival, and beneath the wonder of this mythical land lurk dangerous secrets. Something strange is happening to the inhabitants. What Riley wants more than anything is to find her father and go home. But the closer she gets to this goal, the more the islanders seem determined to keep her from reaching it. As Riley and Alfie unravel the mystery of Atlantis and its most terrifying part, the Forbidden Zone, they realize that the clock is ticking. If they can't learn what happened to their parents and find a way off the island soon, it may be too late to leave. Oh, this looks really cool too. Okay, and then the January theme is Comic Crusaders. Okay, so let me clear this stuff away and we will move on to the next box. Okay, on to the next box here. This one looks like so. Let's see. The theme for this one is Creature Communities. And it looks like this was the September 2021 box. Oh, and we've got worms in this one, so let me get rid of those. Okay, this looks like it's another one of those puzzles. Let's see. Communities can encompass an entire ecosystem, or they can start with a simple friendship between two creatures. This puzzle was inspired by two of our very favorite amphibian friends, Frog and Toad by Arnold Lobel. So yes, it is another puzzle, and it looks like this, if I can get it to focus. There we go. So this is another one that I'll probably be passing on. Oh, that other one was like a 192 piece puzzle and this one's a 100 piece puzzle. Okay, then we've got something in a box here. This says, help build your own creature community with this wooden birdhouse kit. Just slot the pieces together and use a bit of glue to keep them in place, then decorate any way you like. Well, this is fun. Well, actually, I think we'll use this and uh, I might let Xander decorate it or something. That's neat. Then we've got, this is a tote bag. What? Oh, it's a Charlotte's Web tote bag. Cute. I don't really use these. Uh, I don't know that Xander will use them. So this is probably going to go 
to like my nephews. Then we've got a banner here. The Nevermore Wanamal Institute, major and minor, united as one. Cool, I have another banner that's a Nevermore and it's a Proudfoot House One Sock Society. So I'll keep that and put it on my shelves. Okay, then we have, oh wait, it looks like there's two books in here. So we have the main book and then this one's a bonus book and it's Odd Animal Helpers. Uh, it's a level three scholastic reader. This is definitely one for my nephews. And it's just a like cleaner shrimp, rhinos, symbiotic relationships, that kind of thing. I think they'll, the boys will really like that. Then we have our main book and it looks like there's a sticker in this one too. All right, so the sticker here, it says Alcrate Jr. number 56, Creature Communities. And then the book is Will Willadine by Katherine Applegate. Let's see. And the letter from the author is inside this one as well. Oh, yes, it is signed. Also looks like there are illustrations in here. Okay, this letter says, when screechers were invented, Mother Nature made them scented. From Willa Dean by Katherine Applegate. Hello readers, screechers, what on earth is a screecher? Allow me to explain. Have you ever invented an animal? Well, I have, several in fact. I've also invented some really creepy insects, some magnificent birds, and more than a few terrifying alien species. This, my friends, is why being a writer is the best job on the planet. You get to create entire worlds from scratch. Two of my favorite invented species appear in my new novel, Willadine. The first is a screecher, a despised species, species that's a bit like what you'd end up with if you crossed a plum-colored warthog with a grumpy skunk. A very smelly, very grumpy skunk. The second species is called a humming bear. Humming bears are humming bears are everything screechers are not. Enchanting animals who build nests of glowing bubbles. They look like tiny, charming polar bears with wings. I was lucky enough to have the incredibly talented artist Charles Santos Santoso, who also illustrated my novel Wish Tree bring my invented species and my characters to life on the page. I think perhaps my favorite illustration is the one of the screecher and the hummingbird touching noses. Or maybe it's the one where you glimpse the tiny hummingbear's rear end as he po pokes at a bubble. Or maybe, well, okay, it's hard to choose. If you're a writer or an illustrator, I encourage you to do what I did. Take bits and pieces of animals, insects, birds, reptiles, even plants and make up a brand new species. What would you most love to see? A golden retriever who can fly like an eagle? A crocodile who moves like a kangaroo? In any case, if you're an animal lover, I think you'll like the hero of my story, Willadine. She loves all kinds of creatures. I too have always been fascinated by animals, but unlike Willadine, I always lean toward the cute and cuddly. Dogs, cats, gerbils, you know, the usual suspects. Willadine, however, is smarter than I am. She is fascinated by all manner of beasts, even the unlovable ones. The scarier, the smellier, the uglier, the better. And that includes screechers who seem like humming bears to be disappearing from the land at an alarming pace. Willa Dean is also braver than I ever could be. She pursues her passions and convictions with courage, even when others laugh at her. She makes her voice heard, and as a result, she makes a difference. I open this novel with an apology to Mother Earth. Thanks for putting up with us. We've been hard on this glorious planet we call home, but you know what gives me hope? You. When I visit schools, I'm always m so moved by how informed and concerned and yes, angry your generation is about climate change and our fragile planet. And it's because of you that I hold on to hope. I know you'll understand that my generation refused to see the interdependence of all nature, the importance of biodiversity, the need for action to protect our beautiful home and the limitless beauty of all life on earth. With genuine hope and endless thanks to you all, Katherine Applegate. All right. And that is everything that's in the box. All that's left is just the card showing what the next month was. 
um, which was October, and the theme was Science is Magic. Okay, let me clear this off and we will get to the next box. Okay, on to the next box. All right, this one looks like so. And the theme for this is dragons. This is the November 2021 box. And it looks like we've got more worms. So let me uh, clean those out of here. Okay, the first thing I see in here, this is by Whipped Up Wonderful. It's Jasmine Tea Dragon Bath Bomb. And it looks like a little dragon egg. And it's like green and silver glittery. I can smell it a little bit. Uh, I know Xander really likes bath bombs. I don't know if he'll want this one or not because it's got glitter. So this might be mine. It might be his. We'll see. Uh, then we've got a keychain. This looks like uh, from How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, it's the Four Seasons Fox. And, uh, well, it's by Four Seasons Fox. And it's, what's his name? Toothless. Yeah. So, this is cute. I think Xander would like that. Alright, then, what do we have here? A uh, dragon, a 3D cardboard model kit. Oh, well, this is fun. Xander may or may not be interested in this. This is very cute. Uh, if he's not, my nephews will love that. Okay, then we got a box. It says, never laugh at live dragons. Okay, it is a really nice mug. And this is from The Hobbit. Okay, so it looks like so. Very cool. We'll definitely use that. Then we've got a bookmark that says Wings of Fire. And there are dragons all over it. Alright, then we've got the book and it looks like all the goodies are back here. So let me open this up. Okay, first off, we have this really cute sticker that has a dragon on a pile of books and he's reading How to Breathe Fire. <laughs> then we have a signed book plate and the letter from our author here. And the book is The Night Silver Promise by Annalise Avery. Ooh, this one's got art too. Pretty. And uh, it's embossed that says the night silver promise. Okay, the letter says, Dear Al Crate Jr. Reader, welcome to the empire of Alcyon and the world of the celestial mechanism where your destiny is written in the stars. At the moment of your birth and everyone has a track to follow, a fate tattooed on your wrist for all to see. I've always loved the stars. There's something so terrifying and beautiful about looking across the ink black night sky chock full of stars that I always find empowering and intimidating. When I started writing The Night Silver Promise, I had a very clear vision in my head of Paisley Fitzwilliam standing on the roof of her family home in London looking through a telescope at a comet. I knew that Paisley lived in a world where science was very important. I also knew that there were dragons in this world too. I knew the comet was going to bring trouble for Paisley and that her little brother Dax had a very big secret and Paisley was going to be responsible for keeping him safe. And I knew that Paisley had not yet received her destiny. What grew from this idea was an epic adventure through the floating boroughs of London and the dragon walker treasure troves to the dark sewers of lower London where an ancient thread is stalking Paisley determined to stop her track. I am so excited that you are soon to set off through the empire of Albion 
keep your track beneath you and let your stars guide you from above. But beware, for there be dragons. All right. All right, so that's everything in this box. So let me put this all away and we'll get the next one. All right, on to the next box here. Okay, this one looks like so. The theme for this was Creativity Conquers All. This was the July 2021 box. And we have more worms. Okay, the first thing in this box is something, I don't know, it's wrapped. Oh, okay, I think this is like for holding colored pencils and markers and stuff. Pens, pencils, whatever. Looks like this on the other side. Super cutesy. And then you fold it up and then you just wrap this or tie it or however you want to do it. Cool. If Xander doesn't want this, then I will use it. Okay, then we have some cute washi tape that has like lots of cute little patterns and stuff on it. Patterns like this. Very cute. I might keep that, but I don't know. I'm either, I'll either use that for like journaling or uh, see if Xander wants it. Okay, next up we have this box it says just make a mark and see where it takes you peter h reynolds <sighs> you don't need to be a famous artist to make beautiful artwork creating something new it can be as simple as starting with one tiny dot on the page use these artist quality watercolor paints inspired by peter h reynolds classic picture book the dot to make your mark oh cool let's open this up so we have like a watercolor pen here you put water down in here and then there's like a paintbrush at the end. And then here's the watercolor paints. So this is very cool. Unfortunately, the little pin won't fit inside the case. And then it's got like a, I don't know, some kind of thing for carrying it. Xander and I both really like artsy stuff, so this will get used. Okay, then we've got, you can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. Maya Angelou. And I think, yeah, this is like a sketch or artist pad. Yeah, it's really thick. So it's, I guess you can use the, the watercolor paints with this. Very cool. And then we have a bookmark. This is by Kelly Lee Mir Miller. It says, writing stories is a kind of magic too. Cornelia Funk. And there are kids and whimsical beasts all reading books. And it looks like this. It has a little tassel. All right, then we have our book and the goodies in the back. Okay, we have this really cute sticker. And we have a signed book plate and a letter from the author and our book is kiki calaria Cal calera breaks a kingdom by sangu mandana and this says to the bold adventurer who finds this letter something tremendous has happened to a girl named kiki and i think she might need your help First, you probably want to know who Kiki is and why she needs you. Kiki is a British Indian girl living in London. That's London in England, by the way. She's smart, kind, and worries about a lot of things. Her brain is super nosy. Sometimes she has to make things feel just right before she can go on with her day. Sometimes she has to stop what she's doing because she can't stop thinking about something else. Sometimes she's so afraid of a bad thing that might happen that she can't sleep. Now maybe you felt like this too, which makes you the perfect person to accompany Kiki on this quest. Or maybe you've never felt like this at all, which means you're just the friend Kiki needs to help her make sense of the world. But what is this quest I keep talking about? 
Well, the thing is, Kiki is an artist with a sketchbook. Inspired by the stories of South Indian folklore that her mom has told her, she invented a whole world of warrior lions, demon kings, and a crew of awesome rebel kids called the Crows. Then, something went wrong, and now her made-up sketchbook kingdom is real. And there's a real demon king who's going to destroy two universes if Kiki doesn't stop him. Kiki and the Crows can count on you, can't they? Good luck. Oh, this sounds like fun. Oh, and the book looks like this. All right, that is everything in this box. I'll clear this up and we'll get the next one. On to the next box. All right, opening this one up. It looks like so. The theme for this one is Moonlight and Stardust. All right, first thing I see is this little velvet pouch here that says Alcrate Jr. And inside we have something that says, Moonlight drowns out all but the brightest stars, J.R.R. Tolkien. And it's just like a little double-sided mirror. Looks like that. Cute. Then we have this enamel pen. It says, Stay Wild, Moonchild. It's got the phases of the moon on it and oh we have a kaleidoscope these are cool this says the heart is built of starlight and time and uh, I wonder if the camera can see through the kaleidoscope okay <laughs> oh hello that's neat that I could get the camera to see through it. These are very cool. Okay, next a box. With freedom, books, flowers, and the moon, who could not be happy? Oscar Wilde. It says, we're giving you the moon this month. Light up the night with this beautiful, touch-controlled, three-color, 3D printed moonlight. USB charger and wooden stand included. Fun. Okay, hold on, I have to put it together. Okay, so I got the little stand put together. And here's our moon and here's a little port that you charge it with but uh, that's also like where you touch to turn it on so you can have it like whoop. okay sorry if the uh, camera angle changed any um, I dropped it on Einstein and he's right there between me and the tripod okay so you can have it like this orange color Or you can touch it and it'd be like a blue or more of a white. This is very cool. I feel like I want to give this to Marty because he's got a lot of like space kind of stuff in his office. I think he'll like it. And then our little charging cable. And we got some color foil origami paper. And it looks like there's some uh, like folding techniques, maybe some things that you can create. But yeah, just different colored papers. And then we have our book and a sticker in the back. Okay, so the sticker looks like this, super cute. And the book is The Plentiful Darkness by Heather Kasner. And let's see. It is signed on the inside there, and our letter is also on the inside. This says, Dearest Reader, One night I had a dream, or rather a nightmare, about a dark, dark realm ruled by a magician. I remember wandering through this world, wide-eyed with wonder and fear. The darkness was so deep, so quiet, so plentiful, and I was all alone in its shadowy folds. Upon awakening, the dream continued to haunt me, and my curiosity grew. I wanted to poke at the world's gloomy corners. I wanted to light a candle and find all its secrets, and the secrets of the raven-haired magician. And so I took a pen to paper and began writing a story about a brave and stubborn girl named Rooney and her magical lunar... lunar... mirror? Minor? I can't tell what that word is about the moonless world she, she tumbled into. She's waiting for you. She'll show you the way. You won't have to go into the plentiful darkness alone. 
interesting okay all right that's everything in this box let me clean this up and we'll go to the next one all right we are over the halfway point uh, we have three boxes remaining so on to the next box here we have it looks like this the theme is Science is magic. And right off I see a really cool looking enamel pin. It's inspired by his dark materials. And there are of course worms, so let me move those. Okay, what is this? It looks like we have a lanyard. It says take chances make mistakes, get messy. And I think this is like a magic school bus thing because there is a school bus on it. I don't know if Xander would use that, so that might get passed on. Then we have an umbrella, which is cool. Uh, it looks like we have like beakers and DNA and moons and beakers and, did I already say beakers? Uh, that's the cover. Let's see what the umbrella looks like. It looks like this. This is very cute. I think you can never have too many umbrellas. Because <laughs> they always get misplaced. Isn't that right, Einstein? This is not a chew toy for you. I know it looks like it's fun. Also, do any of you actually use these covers? Like, I struggle with ever using them. Because I struggle with getting them back on. <laughs> Comment down below and let me know. What do you do with your umbrella covers? Okay, next is an envelope here. It says... Uh, what do you get when technology and nature combine? A magical friendship. Protect your hardcover with this wild robot inspired fabric book cover. Okay. This is cute. So it's just like a stretchy kind of material. You can just put it on your book. Like slide your book in here. There's paper in it. Like cardboard in it right now. But yeah. Cute. All right, next we have Ooze Labs Mix Your Own Sunshine Slime. Make slime that changes color in sunlight. Fun. I think Xander will like that. And then we have the book and all the goodies are in the back. Okay, there is a sticker here. It says science is magic. I might actually give that sticker to Marty. And, oh, there's a map here, which uh, has the a letter from the author on the back. And the book is Amira and Hamza, The War to Save the World by Samira Ahmed. And this is signed. Let's see. This says... Dear Alcrate Junior Reader, When I was a little girl, there was a special place in my backyard where four lilac trees met. Every spring, magic bloomed there. Underneath that canopy of purple flowers was a portal that could take me to wondrous worlds, where I, a fairy with glittery golden wings, would battle evil djinn and other fire spirits with nothing but my wits, imagination, and a potion of mud and dandelions. Those enchanted evenings were part of the inspiration for Amira and Hamza, the war to save the worlds. Like you, Amira and Hamza are curious, courageous, and fans of dessert at any time of day. On this journey, they confront questions like, how can a sofa fly? Do s'mores grow on bees? Wait, do s'mores grow on trees? And can two goofy siblings stop bickering long enough to save the world? I hope you have fun finding the answers along with them. Cute. All right. That's everything in this box. On to the last two boxes. We only have two more left. But first, let me clear this up. All right. On to the next box here. 
This one looks, oops, like so. <laughs> and Einstein moved the tripod again. Hold on. Okay, this theme was Wondrous Worlds. And this was the June 2021 box. All right. First off, so it looks like I have a lunch box. We've got greetings from the Hundred Acre Woods, Chocolate Factory Tours, We Are All Mad Here in Wonderland, Follow the White Rabbit, Come With Us on the Luck Dragon Express, The Dinotopia by Air. That's the thing about books, they let you travel without ever moving your feet. Jumpa Lahari. So welcome to Narnia, Mermaid Lagoon Tours, Middle Earth Welcomes You, Emerald City Grand Hotel. I love this. This is super cute. I think it's just an empty, yeah, just an empty box, but I'm definitely going to keep this and use it for something. I don't know. Even if it's just decoration on my shelf, it's adorable. Okay, then we have a really fun, like, spinning top. It looks like this. Oh, then we have some uh, stickers that say this book belongs to. Fine, I like those. And a patch it says Literary Voyager. Also very cool. All right, then we have something, maybe a metal bookmark. It says wherever you go, you take yourself with you, Neil Gaiman. Fun. And then, oh wait, there's there's more stuff. Hold on. Then we've got a pen. Oh, I don't think this is a spinny top. It actually goes on top of this pen. It just popped off. Yeah, pen works. This lid doesn't want to stay on very well, but we have that. And then we have an uh, all-in-one stationary. So it's a two and you write your letter and then you fold it and it seals here. And then you like address it on the back. This is neat, very neat. All right, and then we have our book. It looks like there's a sticker in the back. This is cute. It's a book. The sticker is a book with uh, luggage. The book's going on a trip. Then we have our book, which is Strange Worlds Travel Agency by L.D. Lipinski. And it's signed right there. And we have our letter from the author. And I will read that in just a minute. I need to change out my battery because it's flashing. Okay. Let's see what this says. Dear Alcrate Reader, Welcome to the Strange Worlds Travel Agency. Have you ever wanted to travel to new and exciting worlds and yet always have an easy exit? Consider a trip via magical suitcase where stepping inside can transport you to another world. But don't forget, don't lose your luggage. In this book, you can join Flick as she finally travels where she's always wanted to, along with her new friend, Jonathan, custodian of the otherworldly tra travel agency. Flick finds candy clouds, bubble unicycles, and crystal forests, as well as a threat lurking in the multiverse that puts all worlds, including her own, in danger. I wrote this story for everyone who has wanted to travel from the safety of their own sofa and for anyone who wishes for an escape from the ordinary world. Happy reading and happy travels too. This sounds like a perfect book for me. <laughs> All right, that's everything in this box. Let me put this away and we'll get to the last box. All right, on to our final box here. And this one looks like so. This was the May 2021 box. <laughs> the theme was Sagas and Swords. And there is a card here that says item replacement notice. 
Due to an unforeseen shipping issue, this box includes a jumbo magnetic bookmark from Crafted Van inspired by Odd and the Forest Giants instead of the enamel necklace listed in this month's magazine. Okay. Let me move all these worms because there looks like it looks like a lot of them in here. Okay, the first thing we have here, oh, is that magnetic bookmark and it is very cute. Looks like this. And a cat has just stolen my seat. <laughs> then we have Viking Saga sticky notes. Cute. I mean, there's pictures on them, so I don't really know what you could do with them. <laughs> like, you can't actually write on them. They look like this. Yeah, let me see if the ones behind it have the pictures on them too. They do, unfortunately. Uh, so I'll probably give these to my nephews because I don't think I don't think we're gonna use them for anything. They'll use them like stickers. Then we have a book sleeve. I don't know what exactly we have. What looks like a fairy or something. Uh, reading a book while driving a chariot pulled by cats. <laughs> uh, this looks like a two book one so we have this is not our main book this is like the extra book it's so you want to be a viking by looks like thames and hudson and looks like this on the inside it says do you know how to survive a shipwreck can you swing a battle axe like a pro read this book and become a viking to be reckoned with it's an it's epic and it's dangerous. You'll love it. If blood makes you queasy, think again. Being a Viking isn't for the faint-hearted. Cute. This I don't know if I'll read this, but Xander probably would. And then we have uh some paper dolls. One is Thor Obsidian or Thor Odin's son, and the other is Loki. Lav, Lav, Laufason. It's Thor and Loki. <laughs> I'll see if Xander's interested. If not, uh, I'll pass that on. And then we have our book. So there's this Viking sticker. Uh, we have our letter from the author. And our book, which is The Last Shadow Warrior. And that looks like that. It has the title embossed on the book too. And it is signed. Oh, and we have our letter right here. So this says, Dear readers, one of the things I love most about Norse, Norse mythology is that its heroes are so, well, normal. Sure, Thor may have his mighty hammer and Odin his far-seeing eye, but underneath all that, they get scared, they get frustrated, and at times they even smell bad. You can almost imagine having them over for pizza and a round of Monopoly. Just keep Loki away from the bank. It's that same normalness I try to capture in my her hero, Abby Beckett. She's a 12-year-old from a long line of Viking warriors, but she gets frustrated by homework and has bad hair days. And when she runs into a sea monster with a wicked ping-pong serve, she's terrified. But she never quits, and that sometimes what defines a hero the simple determination to keep going despite the odds it's my hope that as you read about abby's journey in the last shadow warrior you might see something of yourself and think hey maybe there's a hero in me too happy reading so what was your favorite item out of all of the boxes i think mine personally was either that you know both of my I items that i would pick are both lunch boxes one is a uh, this little lunchbox here and the other is the actual insulated lunchbox that's uh emerald city because this will be decoration but i'll actually use the other one and then i think xander might most like the slime as far as the books go uh well i have that one the viking one here too um I think the one that I'm the most interested in, I think they all sound great, but the one I'm most excited about is Escape from Atlantis. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye!